Hello guys, I'm Hello back in with another new video and first of all, Eid Mubarak and second, Happy Akhachutia, Happy Dhantaras, okay. So today, uh, like I'm gonna share a particular API actually, that gonna make your life a little bit easier. So uh, have you seen that like some of the apps, web apps specifically, whenever you open it on your desktop, it automatically detects that it's a desktop device or if you open it on mobile it automatically detect it's a mobile device and i'm not talking about responsiveness here okay like detecting which device which os it is in like suppose uh it happens with uh binance or uh, some of the apps like that whenever you log in they will send you the mail that uh, you have been logged in from a device and they give you the device like uh, which uh, which uh, operating system that device is running and which browser or maybe which type of uh, yeah obviously browser which type of browser is uh, used okay they will give you all of those information via mail and they send you the mail that, uh, from at this time you uh, logged in into this thing so now this uh, query like not query this thing like this data can be easily generated from a single line of javascript api like this is actually built into javascript okay you don't have to get any other uh, code stack or any other thing but the problem with javascript is you have to parse the string yourself in order to get a proper data from that okay and it always changes like uh, if it's a uh, chrome obviously it's gonna show chrome and maybe it's windows if it's a uh, android uh, in opera suppose okay it will show me opera in android okay and it always changes the length of it is always changing okay so parsing the data is a quite cumbersome like uh, maybe on its own it's a project okay so to parse that data into a uh, actual usable form today uh, we have this api okay so let me just share you the api and give you the like overview of it like what you will get from it from what to what it's converting okay so let's just see the website today because that's how we're gonna get like better overview of it okay so let's just get started <music> So as you can see, I am in API Cagent. <laughs> I don't know how you will pronounce that name, but API C Agent. Yeah, that is also possible API C Agent. So basically, uh, it is totally clear from its like landing page, detect browser, OS and device from your user agent string. Okay, so user agent string is that JavaScript string that will be called by your uh, browser. Okay and here is the user agent string that uh, you can see whatever so they have like put a uh, feature over here whatever there is a live example okay so here is suppose the uh, user agent string okay and it will simply parse this data into a like a json format yes it's a json format and understandable json chunk okay so in browser family you are getting chrome in client you are getting engine blink blah 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 uh, i am not getting into that that is too much in deeper but in devices okay in devices you are not getting anything but type you are getting desktop in os you are getting a name windows x uh, 64 version 10 so basically you get the uh, data that it's uh, suppose you have like uh, integrated into the login form so you will get the notification that uh, the user has logged in from a Windows device. Okay. And you are getting the browser as well. Okay. So browser data is there as well. I don't know why device data is uh, a bit off. I don't know that. But uh, though we can like work with that, right? 
but in terms of google whenever you log in with google their uh, device data is also great like uh, apt to be honest and you can try out the api demo from here as well like if you click on it you can get that but rather than that like uh, that is it for this api actually that's it yeah this is a single api okay and if you like click on it this is a single api you can have the get request or the post request in get request equals like you simply uh like get start get uh, like uh, obviously call get request obviously then uh it will like uh generate the what uh the json format yeah. and you can have the post request as well like and in post request actually you have to like uh give the user string agent user agent string that's the uh, simple difference of it and you can go to docs to have like more uh, in-depth overview into it as you can see it over here and that's basically it that's how uh, easy it to like set up it will like work like or uh, like smooth like butter right yeah this will, this will work like that because there's nothing else really simple thing really simple usage as well i really like this and this is actually uh, a seriously usable for thing okay seriously usable piece of api i can say that is really required but i haven't seen a lot of it to be honest so that's why i featured it today and that's basically about it about this whole scenario okay nothing else so i know uh, many of you gonna try it out uh, me myself gonna try it out to be honest and rather than that if you know about some other great APIs like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below as well so i can feature them in a future video and you if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below share it with your friends like help me to go grow in this youtube algorithm because i think like uh I am almost close to 365 videos. Now, merely 60 videos has left. Okay. So, it, it's just about like uh, two months right now. Okay. From now on, I will be making a video for two months straight and we'll see the growth, whatever it ha whatever happens. After that, obviously, I will stop making video every day. That's something I'm going to do for sure. Okay. And after that, what gonna happen? I really don't know. Totally depends upon my mood. <laughs> Actually, not my mood. Actually, it depends upon what that uh, what stage the channel is in and how I am going to create my next. If I am going to create, how I am going to create my next contents. So that's it. That's it about this video. So bye.